This lesson is about those who've never heard the word. Most people grow up in a culture where they're not very likely to hear the gospel message unless we take it to them. There are more than a billion Hindus in the world, well over a billion Muslims. And again, more than a billion live under governments that are atheistic or secular or which actively suppress religion. To make it worse, even in the so-called Christian lands, the gospel has been so distorted, so diluted, and so-called Christians often live lives so far from what the Master taught that potential seekers are turned off. Given that the vast majority of mankind is not hearing the word and may well die without hearing it, is it unfair of God to hold everyone accountable? Well, of course, if we were put into an impossible situation, no, it wouldn't be fair. And yet, we believe that God is just, and that's where we have the problem. If you and I did not accept the justice of God, then the lostness of the world would take on a very different color. And yet, if we are responsible for our choices, for our wrongdoing, then to blame God for us not hearing the saving message is to go too far. After all, it isn't only people in the so-called Christian lands who envy, lie, cheat, fornicate, hate, and so forth. Sin is absolutely everywhere. We were not put into an impossible situation. We put ourselves into it. I think it's something like a drowning man. Perhaps pride led him to overconfidence. He went too far out, or in water too rough. He took a risk he never should have taken. Or perhaps against his better judgment, uh, he, he was having stomach ache or cramp, and he thought he'd go out anyway. Well, hopefully, anyone in that kind of a desperate situation will find a rescuer. There'll be a savior. There'll be someone who will to help them out of their predicament. And yet, sadly, as we know, that doesn't always happen. People do drown. Well, the person who is struggling in the water in the presence of a potential rescuer is in a much better situation than the one who drowns alone. And yet, I wouldn't call it unfair that the lifeguard helps one but not the other, since the second one, the lifeguard doesn't even know about. He's never seen him. This guy is alone. Well, perhaps that analogy will help you. It's a tragedy when people don't hear the saving message. And yet, we're in a desperate situation because of our own sin. And I'd like to talk about this principle. I think this is uh, very important. The liberal, secular world does not even think in terms of sin. They think in terms of perhaps wise choices or foolish choices or actions that we undertake because we're led to or influenced to take them through genetics. And yet the Bible paints a very different picture, that there is an absolute moral code, right and wrong, and that we are responsible for our choices. Even if they're influenced by others, ultimately it's our call. We're like Eve and Adam. We make a choice 